So next year, 2020, marks 20 years or two, two decades that I've been uh, in this industry as a financial advisor serving clients and investing my, my own money as well. And any of you who have been investing for a while know that there's been some difficult times and there's been some really good times. In that 20 year period as a financial advisor, I've went through the downturn in 2000, 2001, and 2002 with the technology bust. In late 07, 2008, and 2009, the financial crisis. And what all of that has taught me that I never could have learned in a textbook is to have a healthy understanding and respect for risk. For the risk I'm taking in my own portfolio, for the risk I'm taking in our client's portfolio. Not to be scared, not to be a pessimist, but to understand what the risks are that we're taking and make sure we're aware of them. In today's world where we find ourselves right now, the press, each time there's some newsworthy event like uh, recession talks or tariff talks or any of these things come up, it stirs up the emotions again and the discussion of the next recession. And while I can't predict, and I don't believe that anybody can, the exact timing of a recession, I would have to argue that it doesn't make some sense that at some point in the future, whether that's three months, six months, a year, two years from now, that we are probably going to have some type of recession. Would it look as bad as 08 and 09? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm not uh, naive enough to think that even though we've had recessions over and over, this time's different and we're not going to have one. On the, on the subject of recession and the subject of investments and volatility and the daily news barrage, I wanted to hit on just a few things that you should keep in your back pocket that you should be aware of uh, that I feel like um, I've had a crash course in in the last 20 years. That is, when the news comes out and market's done well and we may face a recession, what to do with your investments, number one. The first thing I would say is not to panic. Okay, Remember, you have long-term goals. You have kids you want to send to school. You want to retire someday. Don't just make knee-jerk decisions that you might regret later. Doesn't mean you don't prune risk out of your portfolio, take profits. All of that is completely acceptable, but don't panic. Uh, the second thing I think of that comes up is your plan your financial plan. Maybe if the market's done well and we could face a downturn, maybe instead of every one or two years of reviewing your financial plan, if you're just a few years out from retirement or some of the goals that you want to accomplish, maybe you should take a look at that financial plan a little bit more often just to make adjustments and uh, be able to be flexible in real time. Uh, the third thing is that you can do if you believe a recession's coming and will at some point is don't go out and buy dumb stuff. If you have cash and you want to buy dumb stuff, that's great. And I know that sounds kind of funny, don't buy dumb stuff. But basically what I mean is build up an emergency fund, have cash, don't buy everything on credit. As an investor, I'm more concerned about reducing my exposure to uh, debt and keeping things clean and in order and simplifying my life than I am worried about trying to tweak my investments to try to outguess when a recession comes. The reason why I say that is if you have a cash reserve and we go through a recession, which is bound to happen, you're okay. You don't have to sell any of your investments that are down in value because of a recession or market downturn because you planned ahead. So while it's important to make adjustments in an investment portfolio, it's much, much more important to prepare so you don't have to get into that investment portfolio and sell something that's down uh, that, that will probably go back up someday unless the world ends. The other thing that comes to mind is if you are a business owner, now, of that last two decades, I've been a business owner the last decade. And if you are a business owner, this is probably even more important than an individual. 
times aren't always good. So if you have a business and it's doing well and you're earning commissions or, or fees or revenues really growing, don't take for granted that it's always going to do that well and spend everything of what you make. Put some back for that rainy day. So not only can you weather the storm as a business, but if you've planned ahead and uh, simplified your lifestyle and you have ready cash, not only can you get through a downturn, you might be able to prosper and uh, take advantage of opportunities uh, out there because you prepared ahead. And then the last thing is, is, and, and I'm preaching to myself here because this is a hard one for me too, but we have to remember that we can't control everything. In fact, we can only control our attitude. We can only control our discipline, remaining a disciplined investor, adding to opportunities when they're available, when the market's down. Those are the things that we can control. We can't control when a recession happens. We can't control what the president says or puts on Twitter. We can't control unemployment going up. None of those things that we can control, but we can control our reaction to them, our attitude and our discipline toward investing and our goals. And if we do that, we will be successful.